Good evening Philippines, this is my Pado once again, returning to our tropical weather analysis for this Friday to Monday, August 28 to 31, 2020. And this is brought to you by Typhoon2000.com, the Philippines' first website on tropical cyclones. Let's begin with our update. Here's the latest GovSat. Beginning today, Friday, until tomorrow, Saturday, once LPA94W is now tropical depression my sat and as we speak it had rapidly intensified into a tropical storm with winds of 75 kph it is now named internationally as my suck with local name julian and right now it's moving erratically moving southwest slowly but overall it's quasi stationary or barely moving along to the east of the uh, Aurora area east of Kasiguran and uh, its trough will bring cloudy conditions across some portions of Luzon including Metro Manila, Bicol region while westerly surface wind flow will be enhanced by this system affecting Mamaropa, portions of the Visayas and uh, we, have, we still have the effects of the southwest monsoon affecting Batanes group of islands and the offshore areas of Ilocos Norte so far this monsoon will weaken and this will be the next uh, uh, system that will pull the habagat although it is forecast to track towards the north away from the Philippine Sea so that's good news and uh, let's take a look at our fast animation you can see here still organizing to the east of Aurora province here at, at this point okay so the storm is somewhere here okay and then it will track after two to three days rapidly moving fast towards the north in the general direction of the southern islands of Japan before heading towards the Korean Peninsula over the southern coast of South Korea next week so uh, if we look at our zoom in satellite animation this is from windy.com you met sat you can clearly see here although it's nighttime let's uh, change the sensor to infrared this is black and white and the uh, colored infrared there you go so it's uh, the storm is only over the tropical ocean of the Philippine Sea over the tropical waters of the Philippine Sea and the trough is bringing some cloudy conditions across the Bicol region with lesser chances of rainfall maybe some light rains will be expected but not nothing much the monsoon is rather rather quiet at this time so it might expect explosively intensified the typhoon within the next 24 hours so we are going to keep an eye on this system but again uh, we are safe from the possible direct impact of the system as it is expected to move towards the north in the coming days so this is the various Asian agencies monitoring the track or forecasting the track of MISAC so this is the 24 hours it will remain here for eight hours it will be there on sunday and monday will be exiting the philippine air responsibility via okinawa and the ryukyus and sometime uh, wednesday or thursday it may uh, make landfall over south korea so you can see uh, almost all of the agencies are tracking the system towards the north and northwest north northwest and then north again and uh, this is based on the various computer models particularly the ECMWF and the European model the violet and the dark red or the maroon one that's the reliable ECMWF and GFS models so they all agree it won't affect any parts of the Philippines and here's the uh, latest community.com rain pressure and wind forecast until Monday so tomorrow it will be here east of Cagayan with some westerly surface wind flow affecting the Visayas, Mimaropa and Western Luzon on Sunday. Mm -hmm. 
let us wait on Sunday you can see here that the system is now today is expected to be over to the east of the Batanes far away and the effects of the westerly wind flow will bring some thunderstorms across most parts of northern and central Luzon, particularly across Ilocos provinces and Abva. And the westerly wind flow and southwesterly wind flow across Visayas, Mimaropa, and the Bigel regions. Expect some thunderstorms as well. And over Mindanao for some localized thunderstorms. And on Monday, the storm is no longer on our picture and you can see the effects of the uh, mild habagat actually it's only southwesterly surface wind flow affecting uh, much of northern Luzon and uh, central Luzon including Metro Manila some showers and thunderstorms may be expected across Metro Manila Bicol region portions of Mimaropa and western Visayas local thunderstorms across Mindanao Particularly here across Cagayan Valley, Cagayan Province, I expect some thunderstorm activity on Monday. So far, that's good news for our fox here in the Philippines. So let's hope and pray that it will continue to track. And let's also pray for the people of South Korea that it won't be that worst. Okay? Let's pray that it will rapidly dissipate as the system moves towards the north. As you can see here, if we fast forward it until Thursday, uh, let me see, Wednesday, there it will be, you can see it approaching Wednesday evening and may pass over uh, Korean uh, Peninsula or South Korea. And as we look here, we have another system, but again, the system may track towards Japan or Korea. No, it's Japan. Okay, so there might be another one following the path of my sack. So that's good news again for the Philippines. Uh, so far, we might ex be experiencing the southwesterly surface wind flow or weak habagat, or maybe a mild habagat for next week as these two systems move towards Japan and Korea. Okay, so there you go. That's the quick round out, round up. That's the quick roundup of our updates for this Friday until Monday. And we will be returning again on Monday to keep you the latest update on our weather situation in the Philippines. And as well as uh, the soon-to-be Typhoon Maisak or Julian here at our weather channel of Typhoon2000.com. I mean, Mr. Typhoon. And uh, stay safe. Always happy weekend to all and thank you for watching our weather channel.